It's 9 a.m. in the capital city, and time to move along the streets to the studios of TV2. This is your announcer, Steve Earle, and this is the game show that entertains, informs, and rewards. We play Baton Rouge. Let's now welcome the man who can name the members of the Mod Squad in alphabetical order, your host, Pat Shingleton. All right. Hi, everyone. Hello, studio audience. How are you? Folks, you can go to New York and go to Los Angeles to play a game show, or you can come right here to Bon Marche Mall. How about a round of applause for the Bon Marche people and all the good folks here that have the stories in the bar? Yes, indeed, this is the game show that entertains, rewards, and informs. We send our contestants over the streets to Easy Street, where, yes, they, too, cash in on the prizes, the trips, and all the merchandise. Here's how our game's played. You're going to see the category spin on our game board, and there they go. Thank you. And as they lock down, what you'll be able to see is particular categories. You pick a category. I ask the question. Detour and shortcut are a couple of categories you see there. Detour means that you can knock a street away from your opponent. And the old shortcut, you get one if you get two questions correctly. Isn't that right, Steve? That's right. Spit it out there now. Steve Earl, our announcer. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. How about that? Get yourself a great location like Bon Marche. Get yourself a nice set. Find some good prizes, and you've got a game show, but you forget one thing. What about the contestants? Steve, why don't you tell us about those contestants today? And here they are, huh? Okay, Pat, now I, I know that you once had a plan to sell screen doors on submarines, right? You weren't supposed to tell anybody that, Steve. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Anyway, Pat, today's contestants yeah. are real experts in the field of sales. All right. Okay. Now, our first contestant is a wholesale wine salesman. Uh -huh, from... Your friend. You like those guys. Oh, yes, indeed. From Bologna Brothers All Distributors. Right. His interests include golf, golf tennis, tennis, fishing, fishing, and collecting those reflector bumps off the highway. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say hello to who, Steve? Welcome, Gregory Gillis! Hello, Greg. Good to see you. Greg Gillis. Greg, he tells me you're a wine salesman. You can put the name tag in there so I don't forget your name. These people in the studio audience are there. How long have you been working with Bologna Brothers? Three years. You like it? Oh, I love it. What about some of the fringe benefits as far as selling wine? You know, man. <laughs> the bottle too many. That's right. No DWIs. Oh. All right, Greg, need another contestant we have for you. Here's back to Steve. Steve, will you tell us who our second contestant is tonight I on the I certainly show? will. I certainly, day. yes, I will. Right. Second contestant works in the sales department at Cablevision, Pat. All right. Now, she likes ringing doorbells. Ah, come on. Impersonating Lyndon Johnson. My fellow Americans. Hook slides into third base. I've done those. And checking to see if the refrigerator light goes off when you close the door. Who am I going to say hello to, Steve? Matt, say hello to Avon Tipple. Avon, how are you? Yeah. Nice to see you. Jump right up there on the old set. Yes, indeed. Good to see you, Avon. I left some notes here. I'm taking a class in over there, LSU. Avon, now listen. Um, Avon calling. Ding you dong. You know, I guess a lot of people say that to you, don't they? Too many, I'm afraid, Pat. Every time I say this is Avon, that's what they say is ding dong. They don't call you ding dong, though, do they? You'd be surprised. I certainly wouldn't. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. No. It's good to have you here on the game show that entertains, rewards, and forms. You know our rules, don't you? Yes, I sure do, okay, because I watch every week. All right, before we go to the commercial break, ladies and gentlemen, we have often heard Steve Earle. We've often seen him on commercials. Before we go to this commercial break, will you come out here and say hello to the folks at home? Because you've already said hello to the studio. This is Steve Earle, our announcer, and we want to go. Steve's been in a lot of plays here in the Baton Rouge area, right? Yes, yes, yes I am. And the uh, Baton Rouge Little Theater. Yes. And you're up for an award. Why don't you tell us about that? Oh, I don't want to. Oh, that, that's, that, that's egotistical. I, well, well, I'm up for All right, I'll award. tell him about it. He's up for the award as the uh, man that tells us more about the living room players than anyone else in town. <laughs> We're going to tell him about it. Let's say this, Steve. Here, let, Avon's playing along with. Okay. Who is that? This is uh, Mrs. Elaine Goudot. Goudot, right. Right, 5165 Universal, Greenville Springs, Louisiana. And Elaine, if uh, Yvonne wins, Avon, then you win too, and we have uh, a nice prize for you there. And what about this one? And uh, Marilyn Metcalf, we don't know if that miss, that's Mrs. or Miss, 401 Avenue D. Broussard, what Louisiana. What do you mean, Mrs. or Miss? 
No, you you probably call her later to find out. Anyway, should Greg win, they win too. All right, here we go. We're going to flip the coin, flip the categories. We come back. we got to take care of some business, right, Steve? That's right. Pat has the questions, and the contestants try to sell him on the right answers when we come back. Round one begins in a moment. That's exactly right. You did that real good, Steve. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we won the car. Pat has the questions, and the contestants try to sell him on the right answers when we come back. Round one begins in a moment. Oh, I thought Steve was going to say something. Wait a minute. Thank you very much. I was waiting for Stevie to say something. This is We Play Bad Roots. Following Good Morning America each and every day, 9 a.m. right here on TV2. Yeah, we send you from Bar Marche Mall over the streets of Baton Rouge, right to Easy Street where you win the prizes. Okay, we have our contestants. Greg, you're occupying the blue car. Avon Calling, you're on the red car. I'm flipping the coin. Greg, why don't you call it? Tails. As you can see, it's tails. You've lost the coin toss. You've won it. Avon, what would you like to do? Oh, I'll take the first question. Guess what? You're getting the first question. Time to spin the categories. Move the salespeople over the streets. Here we go. Round one coming up. Let's go and get them. Okay, categories locked down this time, Avon, on movies, events, and a mix bag. You look them over. What do you like? Uh, I think I'll take movies. Okay, movies it is under movies. We have this question coming out of the slot. What star did the movie The Graduate catapult into immediate stardom? Now, was it Henry Winkler, Peter Fonda, or Dustin Hoffman? Dustin Hoffman. You have got Jefferson, and you're on your way to Easy Street. It's back over to Greg. We have the category spinning for you, Greg. Here they go. All right, Greg, here you go. You find sports, shortcut, and TV. You know what sports and TV is shortcut. Two questions back to back. You could possibly pick up two streets real quick. You'd like to do what? Uh, give me sports. Okay, sports it is. Under sports, we find a question like this. What is the distance between the pitcher's rubber and home plate in baseball? 90 feet. Incorrect, Amente, 60 feet, 6 Base. inches. So it's back over to Avon. The categories are running for you. Here we go. There they go. Okay, we find this time the movies, the events, and the mix bag. You look them over, and what do you think? Movies again, Pat. Movies good before. Let's find out what happens. As a child, we saw her in Lassie Come Home and National Velvet. Her adult career found her in Cleopatra, Butterfield 8, and Virginia Woolf. It wasn't Steve Earle. Can you name this famous actress? <laughs> Elizabeth Taylor. That's exactly right. Second Street is yours. I thought you were in that movie, Steve. Yeah, it was the horse. You were the what? Oh, the horse, that's right. Back over to Greg. Categories are running for you, partner. Here they go. Our salespeople, Greg's still looking for that first three. We find places, comics, and words, and this pops up. What do you like to have there, Greg? Words. Words it is. Under words, we find this question. In what sport are the terms double axle, lutes, and death spiral used in these words? Once again, double axle, lutes, L-U-T-Z, or death spiral. What sport? Figure skating. Exactly right, and you are on parking. So we've got two to one. Back over to Avon calling. The categories run for you, Avon. Here they are. Ah. With a score of two to one, we lock in on movies, events, mix bag. What would well, you like to do? Well, it's been good so far. Let's stick with movies, Pat. Movies two times, three times in a row. Let's find out what happened. Among the many films this actor has starred in are Manhattan and Interiors. Name this famous actor, and we'll send you over to Acadian. Repeat that again, please. Okay, Pat. among the many films this actor has starred in are Manhattan and Interiors. Tell us the famous actor, and you will be on Acadian. John Travolta? Incorrect. Woody Allen. Woody Allen. I'll tell you what we're going to do, Greg. You've got one street. When we come back, you're going to try and go to Lee. We're going to take care of some business. Isn't that right, Steve? Absolutely. This is We Play Baton Rouge. We're at Bon Marche Mall. We get together 9 a.m. Monday through Friday, falling Good Morning America. We'll be right back, but first, Steve's going to tell you this. Steve? Pat and the contestants return <laughs> right after these words. That was real good, Steve. All right. All right, great. We come back to your turn. Hey, Brian, yes.
Travel arrangements for We Play Baton Rouge are provided by American Airlines. American Airlines, doing what we do best. That's exactly right. And in all our trips, American Airlines sends our contestants to cities like San Antonio, Texas, Las Vegas, Nevada, San Francisco, California, and of course over to Houston where they all have a good time. American handling all that. As we mentioned, we do our shows from Bon Marche Mall, and you see at 9 a.m. right here on TV2. Salespeople are with us. When we left, Greg, it was your turn. Categories are running for you, partner. We'll see if you can get the lead drive, and here we go. Okay, we find Louisiana Detour Sports. You know about Detour. You can take a street away from your opponent, or you can select Louisiana Sports. What do you think, Greg? D detour. All right, Detour it is. Under this question, once again, answer it correctly. She loses the street. You gain it. Here's what we have. What is the voltage of most car batteries? Is it 6 volts, 12 volts, or 15 volts? 12. That's exactly right. You lose the street, Avon. He picks one up, and it's back over to you. The categories are spinning. Here they go. All right, still one street under your belt there, Avon. Movies, events, and the mix bag, you check them over, and what do you think? Oh, I'll try movies again. Boy, movies have been good except for the last time. In 1941, this child actor gave a great performance in the film, How Green Was My Valley. He also starred in The Planet of the Apes. His first name, Roddy, tell us his last. McDowell. Right, and you're about your second street. So we're tied up again, 2-2. Two, two. Back to you, Greg, you go to categories. Category spinning this time, and we're finally locking down on Sports Shortcut TV. Shortcut, pick two streets up immediately. Or shortcut. Can... Okay, here it goes on a shortcut. First one, coming out of the slot. In one fairy tale by the Brothers Grimm, a poor woman is aided by two elves who finish his work while he sleeps. Now, was he a woodcarver, a candlestick maker, shoemaker, or baker? Woodcarver. Incorrect. You lose a street, she picks it up. You miss any missed question on that particular thing, and it goes over to the other side. So it's three to two. You're back in the lead of Vaughn. There goes the categories again. Once again, any time a missed question in a detour shortcut category, is missed, the contestant, the uh, opponent picks up a street. We find Louisiana Detour Sports. She's Uh-oh, rot row, here we go, Detour. In the mixed bag, or under Detour, we find a mother goose rhyme. This little Tommy sang for his supper. What is his name? Little Tommy Tucker. You're exactly right, and he lives the street, we're back over there again. So we got a score now, four to one, down by three. Great categories are spinning. Here they go. Once again, that detour can be tricky. TV music and detour again. Greg, what do you want to do? Detour again. Okay, she's going to try, try to detour again. Let's see what happens. In the mixed bag or in the detour category, we come out and we find authors. Author Dashiell Hammond created this rugged detective. Humphrey Bogart portrayed him in the movie The Maltese Falcon. Is it Peter Gunn, Ellery Queen, Sam Spade, or James Bond? Sam Spade. Exactly right. Avon loses the street, you pick it up. Now the score is three to two. We find Greg picking up that street. Hey, back to the game board, Avon. The categories run again for you. Here they go. Aha, sports shortcut TV. Again, shortcut. Couple of right answers put you on east. Shortcut. Here comes the first question. You've seen and heard of Mona Lisa the famous painting by Leonardo da Vinci. In what famous museum in Paris is Mona on display? In the Louvre. That's exactly right. And you've set yourself up all the way over now. The second question coming out of the slot. Again, the shortcut category. Answer correctly, okay. Miss it, you'll gain a street. We are looking for the name of a household item that President Taft got stuck in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. No, we... a... oh, well, maybe I better try this again, huh, Steve? Try it again. All right, here we go. We're looking for the name of a household item. Now, President Taft got stuck in it. A Kentucky law requires every citizen to use it once a year, and actress Maria Montez died in it trying to lose some weight. What item are we looking for here? A sauna? Incorrect answer, it's a bathtub. Oh my it's goodness. a bathtub. So he picks up the street, it's now four to three, and it's your turn, Greg, and there go the categories. Under places and comics and words, we look, we see, and what do we have? Words. Words it is, words. We find this question coming out of the slot, words, and it is this. Here they're called parishes. If you can tell us what they're called in other states, you're going to pick up Dalrymple. Counties. Right, and that's the street. We've got a score of four to four. Avon, the categories are running again for you. Here we go. 
Locking down this time on things and music and people. Avon checks them over and she selects what? Music, Pat. Under music, we find this question coming out. Here we go. This Mexican selection goes like this. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Now it involves dancing around a hat. Can you name this song? The Mexican Hat Dance. East is your street, and that's exactly right. Hey, how did I do, Steve, on singing that? Wonderful, but where are the tacos? Oh, hey, we'll pass out tacos. Anybody out there hungry for a taco? Okay, we'll get one for you. The categories are spinning for you, Greg. Here we go. We're moving now into the Fifth Street for you. Let's see what happens. Aha, TV detour music. Do you want to detour her or do you want to take TV and music? Detour. Okay, detour it is. Under the slot comes this question. Here we find the military in this question. How many stars does the general of the army have? The general? Okay, once again. Probably have more than one. The military is the category, more or less. Here's the question. How many stars does the general of the army have? Five. That's exactly right. Five, the general has four, Lieutenant General three, Major General two, Brigadier General one. Hey, you got the lead back again, Greg. Avon, when we come back, we're gonna send you back to the game board. One street away from Easy Street here on the game show that entertains, rewards, and informants. Steve, we gotta take care of some business, we huh? Certainly do, we'll be sir. back with more, but first, why don't you tell us something? We play Baton Rouge and take before a live audience. If your group or organization would like to join us, call 925-8295 for more information. That's 925-8295. That's right, Steve. We'll be right back with more. Thank you very much. Well, what a great studio audience we have here in Bon Marche today, huh, Steve? Excellent audience. As a matter of fact, Greg, you just reminded me, he picked up that question in the fairy tale by the Brothers Grimm, a poor woman is aided by two elves who finish his work while he sleeps. It was a wood car, I'm sorry, it was the selections were wood carver, candlestick maker, shoemaker, or baker. What's the answer, studio audience? That's right, Shoemaker. Categories are running for you, Avon. Here they go. Final moments of We Play Bad Roots. Let's see what happens. Sports Shortcut TV. Once again, shortcut. Answer correctly. You'll go to East. Second question puts you in a winner's circle. Let's go with Shortcut. All right, Dad. here we go. Shortcut comes out. This particular, that ain't the right way. I know the shortcut, we have this. The Mattel Toy Company developed the Barbie doll. Ken was Barbie's boyfriend. What was Barbie's best friend or girlfriend's name? Phyllis. No, hey, wait, hey Steve. I'm sorry. I gotta ask that again. It, it, don't pay any attention to him, the guy's crazy. We lock him up on weekends. <laughs> All right, the Mattel toy company developed the Barbie doll. Ken was Barbie's boyfriend. What was Barbie's best friend or girlfriend's name and it wasn't Phyllis? Betsy. I'm sorry, it is incorrect. I meant it's mid. You can't win on a missed question, Greg, but we can send you back to the game board. Categories are spinning for you. Midge was the name of that dog. Well, I... All right, we find Sports Shortcut TV. Probably don't need Shortcut. Only one street away. You look them over, Greg. What do you think? Sports. Sports it is. Here we go. Under sports, this particular question. What team lost the first Super Bowl game to the Green Bay Packers? Once again, what team lost the first Super Bowl game to the Green Bay Packers? Kansas City Chiefs. You know what, Greg? That is a correct answer. You're in the winner's circle today. All right, Greg. KC Chiefs certainly did it. Hey, Vaughn, you did good. You played a great game. Steve, she did good. She played a great game. She is absolutely fantastic. The, the, the detour and the shortcut category made it go back and forth there. Right, it I, sure did. But you know what? We got a nice prize package for you. I right. want you to watch the monitor with our studio audience. We're going to go now to that guy over there, Steve. He's going to tell us what we won today. Steve, why don't you take it away? What do we have for Avon? Okay, Pat. For our runner-up For our runner-up contestant today, Pat, <laughs> we've got a magic carpet and a visit to a plantation. First, from Sarkis Oriental Rugs, you'll receive a $300 Oriental Rug. Yes, this beautiful rug is yours from one of the South's largest dealers, Sarkis Oriental Rugs, specializing in 100% wool hand-woven rugs with export restoration and cleaning. Sarkis Oriental Rugs, 4385 Government Street. And 
When you get back from your magic carpet ride, you'll visit Navaway Plantation, the state's largest plantation day. home. Your visit includes the popular plantation tour and a most enjoyable champagne brunch. Yes, Arlen Deese has restored Navaway to its original glory so you can enjoy the old-time antebellum atmosphere just as it was more than a century ago. And of course, you'll receive the We Play Baton Rouge Trophy cap and t-shirt courtesy of Gold Star Awards. It's all yours from Sarkis Oriental Rugs, Nottaway Plantation, Gold Star Awards, and We Play Baton Rouge. Now, how about that, Avon Calling? Oh, that was a nice fried package oh, for you. Yeah. How about a round of applause for Avon? Yeah. Yeah. How about that? And incidentally, we have uh, some news for Mrs. Elaine Godo. Boy, Elaine, we appreciate you watching We Play Baton Rouge, but Avon didn't make it to Easy Street, but uh, we're going to send you maybe a We Play Baton Rouge brick instead, which takes the frustration out of watching TV. Back over to Greg. How about a round of applause for Greg? He did it. Moved into the winner's circle. Greg Arena, way to go. Hey, and incidentally, our winners stay on today, so you're going to be back to the next show as well. But I'll tell you what, let's take a look right here. I got something I think you're going to like. Go ahead, Steve. Take it away. Tell us what we have for a winner today. Our winner's prize package today starts with delicious Baskin Robbins ice cream. Yes, you've won a pint a month of luscious ice cream from the store with 31 flavors. Only the juiciest berries, finest nuts, choicest cocos, and freshest country creams can create the award-winning Baskin Robbins taste. At Baskin Robbins, we serve our quality 31 flavors at a time. And then, when you've finished your ice cream, it's time for a trip to historic Natchez, Mississippi. You'll be treated to two nights at the area's finest hotel, the Natchez Eola. The Natchez Eola presents the charm of the Old South, combined with superior service and a uniquely beautiful setting. The extraordinary cuisine found at the Natchez Eola completes the perfect weekend getaway. And to get you two Natchez, you'll leave Baton Rouge in a brand new rental car from Miller Terrell Buick. Yes, this now? gorgeous Buick rental car is yours to use for the weekend. And to make sure you get to Natchez on time, your prize package includes a beautiful Gilcrest watch from Leonard right Grower door. Jewelers and Distributors. Yes, Gilcrest is famous for its quality and dependability. It has a super accurate quartz movement with a beautiful Swiss-made case and contemporary color dial. This Gilcrest watch comes from the Leonard Crower Catalog Showroom in Beaumarchais Mall. Plus, you'll receive a personalized trophy along with the We Play Baton Rouge hat and shirt courtesy of Gold Star Awards, 6220 Florida Boulevard. It's all yours courtesy of Baskin Robbins Ice Cream, the Natchez Eola Hotel, Mellor Darrell Buick, Leonard Crower Jewelers and Distributors, Gold Star Awards, and American International Travel. Travel here in Baton Rouge and wherever you want to be tomorrow. Well, how Congratulations about that, Greg, huh? and back to you, Pat. Thanks, Steve. You like that prize package? And once again, winners stay on. Can you be back and be with us tomorrow morning, 9 a.m.? All right. Good news for Marilyn Metcalf from Broussard, 401 Avenue D. You get a case of Diet Coke, subscription to Tiger Rag, and a Sicily's Pizza. All because Greg won, you won too. We thank you for watching. I want half of that, Marilyn. Well, you have to go over and call her, Greg. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, studio audience, thanks very much. Pat Shingleton saying no matter what game you are playing, you play it the best you can. Bye-bye tomorrow. We Play Baton Rouge is a Pat Shingleton production made in association with WBRZ TV2. This is your We Play announcer, Steve Earle, reminding you to join us each and every day, Monday through Friday, when... We Roman mythology. That's right! <laughs> we Play Baton Rouge is a Pat Shingleton production made in association with WBRZ TV2. This is your We Play announcer, Steve Earle, reminding you to join us each and every day, Monday through Friday, when. We play!